Good morning, folks, and thank you for joining into Almas Market Mornings, your daily dose of financial updates. On the domestic front, there's a very key uh, observation that we are seeing uh, is that the Indian and the Russian Apex Bank are scheduled to meet this week, discussing a possible payment systems between the two. Pankaj, uh, this can be a good uh, update that we are seeing, at least on the bilateral trade front. What do you think? As well as, uh, folks, uh, we have the FOMC night tonight. Uh, a lot of market participants are keenly watching the kind of weaponry Fed would be using against the inflation. The yield curve has already flattened. Aussie yield has jumped the most since 2009, and the currencies are uh, nothing but weakening against dollar. Pankaj, I'd uh, like to hear more from you on these fronts. So please go ahead and uh, tell us what should we expect. Uh Thanks, Sikha. Good morning, everyone. Uh, particularly the development on Apex Bank talking to each other from Russia and India, and that can be an important development. We have heard these rumors earlier also, but looking at the global developments where all the uh, countries, whatever they say, but they are taking uh, products, they are uh, importing goods from Russia. Uh, so I think uh, India would have also decided uh, since they are also in the league of, uh, they are importing goods from them. So they would have thought ki, uh, if everybody is doing, let's also set up a bilateral uh, windows where we can uh, exchange ruble with India, with rupee or rupee with ruble. So we'll be watching that, uh, how it pans out because the export and import quantums are not matching. You know, we import, uh, we import, um, crude, but we export food item and all those things. And we're export, uh, they have already got uh, surplus in uh, those commodities. But it will be important development to watch uh, how it will pan out. Uh, yes, tonight is the night uh, uh, for the FOMC because uh, the continuous CPI numbers for last, I think, four or five months, we are seeing that the expected CPI was lesser than the real C the actual printed CPI. So. Printed CPIs are coming higher than the expected CPI numbers and uh, FMC need to act on this. So uh, market as of now has fully, uh, I would say 90% priced in that 75 basis hike. Uh, if 75 basis hike doesn't happen, uh, it will be surprise for the market. But uh, along with that market would be also watching uh, statements on balance sheet tightening uh, what are the further path for the rate hikes? Uh, there, what will be the guidance for the liquidity shrinkage and how they project their PC and growth numbers? Uh, that will be watchful and the most important dot plots because previously, yesterday, market had started pricing in terminal rate as a 4%, which was earlier market was expecting only 3%. Coming back to yield curve, yes, US yield curve normalized back again yesterday itself. 10 year minus two year went into a positive, but both both uh, but both yield points uh, are at a decadal high. 10 year at 342 and two year at 336. Uh, yield curve has shifted lower after reaching peak. Uh, I can say that 10 year GSEC yield peak uh, reached at 348, but it looks like more of a profit booking before FMC. Uh, the, the, these can be things where we basically say the buy rumors and sell fact. Uh, USD index is dealing at 105.21 and GBP dealt at a 15 month low of 1.1935. Uh, now dealing at 1.2028. Even GBP did not get any support of a, a kind of a new referendum uh, on Scottish independence that also not helped uh, GBP. Uh, Asian sales and global equity markets dealt in a uh, narrow range. They're probably likely to deal narrow range today it's also. Oil prices dip uh, due to the bid planned widget to Saudi uh, for meeting important government officials uh, for a crude oil production. Uh, that's, that's what the market is looking at as of now. Uh, gold is also getting impacted by a higher treasury yield and just how managed to stay above 1800. Uh, these are the important support area. Market would be watching that as well. Uh, Indian WPI. Now, again, this has uh, printed at 15.88% versus 15.08% in April. The market expectation was also 15.30. So 
prices, uh, commodity prices, product, and, uh, product prices are still ruling at a very high level. Uh, it will be it will be watchful uh, how these prices move, move from a, a wholesale to retail price. Ten-year GSEC yield uh, closed at seven fifty-eight. Not much of an action. Uh, they would be moving after the FOMC. And INR was also uh, rain pound yesterday. Uh, lots of action uh, was through uh, forward points. An important point to note that forward points, one year forward point, which was at the opening of the week or maybe end of the last week, was one year was at 280, 2 rupees 80 pesa. Uh, last yesterday saw 2 rupees 50 pesa, now back to 257. So these are the developments on the market side. Uh, have a nice day. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, I see Pankaj, you're working from some very pleasant uh, location as we can hear the pleasant chopping, but there is some unpleasant chopping as well in the crypto side where uh, the billionaire Bill Gates was seen uh, <clears throat> dismissing NFT stating it is to it is based on uh, the greater fool's theories while he also uh, mentions that the expensive digital images of monkeys are going to improve the world immensely in a sarcastic tone. So that's quite <clears throat> an interesting outtake. On the uh, updates front, I see Indian WPI, as you mentioned, uh, was at 15.88% against the 15.3%, while uh, the markets have priced in a 75 basis point hike quite significantly against the previous 50 basis point hikes. So uh, that's that for the updates on today's front. But uh, to close the session, I'd like to reiterate something mentioned by a very smart uh, fellow market participant, Abhiji Avasti. Uh, he mentioned that monetary policy making is not like flying an airplane. And hence the allegories like hard landing, soft landing are patently misplaced. Well, Abhijit, I couldn't agree more with this. And it gets even more interesting to watch what the Fed does and how the market reacts to it. So, uh, folks, uh, let's see how things goes. Uh, let's see how things go ahead in the financial market world and all its turbulence. We manage the rest till then. Goodbye. Thank you. Join in tomorrow again.